Okay, so what are we looking at here? We have an ATX style backplane here. Okay, um, this um, this fits an ATX style motherboard. It accepts an ATX power supply. Okay, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven PCIe slots in here. We have Coco connectors back here, the DIN connectors back here. Of course, we have a relay. We have a salt chip. We have an Arduino that monitors uh, button presses. So we can turn it on with this button right here, or from this header, we can plug a, a PC case button on here. And uh, this Arduino also, also has a, uh, <clears throat> a USB uh, host shield connected down there. It's hard to see. So I can press this button here and the power supply will turn on. You see, and we have a nice green light there. Okay, so what else do we have? Let's look over here. This is the CPU card. This is where the CPU is mounted. It's a bit precarious because I got to fix it, but I got it to work. As you can see back there, I did some more work to it. So that plugs into one of these slots right here. You got to be careful with this one. Okay, that's in there. All right, next I have a ROM card. This is where you put in the ROM chip. Okay, plug that sucker in right there. Okay, and I can plug these in anywhere. It doesn't matter. So this is what I call the SAM and VDG card. That plugs in right here. Okay. This is my ROM, my um, cart card. Okay, I had to like bodge it as well. That plugs in over here. Boom. This over here is the PIA and DAC card. Okay, plug that in over here. All right. Then last, this is the RAM card. And it accepts several types of RAM. Okay. Right now it has 64K Coco 2 RAM. All right, if I press this, all right, I have a Coco 2 coming up right there. You can see, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that um, I got a wireless keyboard right here hooked up to it. The USB that comes out of the host shield is routed, you know, through this cable here, through the board and out the back into this guy right there and I have the dongle plugged in. So as you can see, I can type, I don't know if you can, and that's working. Okay, I'm gonna type a quick little program. Uh, you see, look, I can, I got double quotes, hard to see there, but anyways. And I'm gonna write, hello, Coco ATX. That's what I'm calling this. And then of course, my 20 will be a go to 10. We will run it. And there it is. Hello, Coco ATX. All right, let's stop it. Escape will be break. Okay, let's turn it off. And let's see if it loads my Coco SDC. I'm gonna plug in here. Okay, tight fit, plug that in. Okay, the light's flashing. And womp womp. Let's do that again. Well, it says SDC DOS 1.6. I wonder if I can, I can start the Explorer here. No, I don't know what's up with that. It was loading earlier. I uh, still have some issues here. Maybe I just have to like something loose or something. Yeah, that's in progress. No. All right, let's take this out then. That could just be something that I did to it, but let's try and load. Oh, I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. What either the Q or the E came loose. Oh, Megabug works. 
Okay. Can I play Mega Bug? It has audio, you just it's hard to hear. Yeah, Mega Bug. 